All right, let us understand what molar mass is. In very, very simple terms, it is just the mass of one mole of a substance, where a mole equals 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 entities. All right. And this also answers the question, how many grams of X, where X is a substance, you know, it can be a molecule or atom, is there in one mole of X? Or how many grams of X is there per mole? of x, you know? And that is why its unit is grams per mole. All right. Okay, so let me give you a, you know, example. All right. Let us take a small bead, okay, which, you know, which mass is one grams. All right. Now, how many such bead is there in one mole? Uh, I mean, it's like 6.022 into 10 to the power 23, right? Okay. And so the molar mass of such beads, of one mole of such bead is tended to this number, this is Avogadro's constant, times one grams. And that will result in a big, big mass. And that is why we don't use, you know, molar mass and mole for, you know, such big things, you know. We use it for small things, very, very small things like atoms and molecules. Okay. And so let us see how we can find the molar mass of things like atoms and molecules. For example, let us take a hydrogen molecule, okay, which is H2. And since there are two hydrogen molecules in, sorry, hydrogen atoms in one hydrogen molecule, it, it has a mass of 2U, right? If you don't know where this came from, <laughs> watch my other video on atomic mass. Now, 2u means 2 times 1.66 times 10 to the power minus 24 grams. Okay, if you don't know where this came from, then also please watch my video on atomic mass, okay? And this is the mass of one hydrogen molecule. So what about a mole of such hydrogen molecules? Then we take this number. Okay, let me just copy this. Okay, let me just copy this and paste it because I'm very, very lazy. Okay, we take this number and we multiply that. Oops, we multiply that with, let me draw this with a different color. Yeah, orange. Multiply that with 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. Yeah, this is because this, uh, because, you know, a mole has this number of hydrogen molecules, right? So let me bring up my calculator, like I'm Sal Khan. Okay, and <laughs> let me just, oops, okay. Let me just calculate this. Uh, two times, you know, 1.66 uh, um, times, okay. A bit, it's, a, it's a bit clumsy, you know, times, okay, I can just type it out, you know. 10 to the power minus 24, okay, times 6.022 times 10 to the power 23rd. Okay, yeah, it's 1.99.344, I can just write it here. 1 point, no, 1.99, okay. And this is the, no, like grams per mole, yeah. This is the molar mass of one mole molar mass of one mole of such hydrogen molecules. Now, what about sodium? Okay, let us take sodium as an, you know, another example, uh, which is Na, the you know, symbol for sodium. A moly, uh, atom of, you know, it's a monoatomic element. I will not get much into that. It weighs, it has a mass of 14U. Uh, and so uh, the molar mass, of one mole of sodium will be 14 times 1.66 times 10 to the power minus 24 grams times 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. Then let us see what this, this calculation, you know, gives us. Okay, let me just clear this and we can, oh no, we could have, you know, uh, anyway, let us 
calculate this 14 times 1.66 times 10 to the power minus 24 times 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 and this is 13.99 okay it's almost 13 point sorry 13.99 and if you if you notice very carefully we can see that the magnitude okay let me write the unit here if you see the magnitude okay which is this number it is very very you know close they are very very approximate like suppose this is the magnitude of you know atomic mass of hydrogen molecule and this is the magnitude of the you know molar mass of hydrogen which is very very close you know 2 and 1.99 and here is 14 and 13.99 and that is why we usually say that the you know magnitude of you know atomic mass and molar mass are very very you know, same they are same you know we can say that if the atomic mass is n you no know, u okay if if the atomic mass is n u okay where u is the you know this one this u okay, let me write that in a different color yeah if the atomic mass is in n oops n u then the molar mass will be in n grams per mole right where n is you know something like this number this number right this number and here n is like this number you can also just you know like approximate this to you know 14 grams per mole right although this does not apply to you know very very precise calculation where you have to you know find the exact amount but I can, you know, I think the teacher will give you, you know, the correct marks if you just perform these things. So, you know, the long form, which you multiply this number and find the molar mass, you know, exact molar mass. But if you want to go for a very, very short form, you can just use this, you know, to find the molar mass very, very quickly. And I think that covers molar mass uh let me just revise it and a molar mass is the mass of one mole of a substance you know which equals to this number of entities all right and if we have one mole of hydrogen molecules that will occur um, you know like equal to the mass of one molecule times avogadro's constant because that's how many you know molecules a mole contains and this will you know equal to the molar mass of that substance so yeah that is for molar mass this has been a very long video <laughs> for me uh, so never mind and please practice as many questions as you can because this is you know like looks very easy but it is freaking hard so good luck on that